So I decided to dedicate this video and this lookbook, uh, I make like one a year because I don't really buy that much new clothes, to gender euphoria because we talk a lot about dysphoria but euphoria is I think just as important if not more important in the trans experience and I wanted to show you some outfits that I've been feeling gender euphoric in and while I do that I'm also gonna talk a little bit about what else gives me gender euphoria. If you don't know what gender euphoria is, I've been trying to like make sense of it when I was at my work because I have nothing else to do there um, and I write down that at least from my understanding and for me gender euphoria is a feeling of joy when you present in a way that makes you feel like yourself or when you are treated according to your gender identity so for instance my name is Simon I use they them pronouns um, and when other people say Simon see me as non-binary or gender non-conforming uh, use the right pronouns for me I feel gender euphoria it's as simple as that and I can also present in a way that gives me gender euphoria. It can be like self-perception mentally. Um, it can be physical changes, like my voice dropping on tea gives me a lot of gender euphoria. Having more hair on my legs gives me gender euphoria. It's the weirdest shit. I would love to know what gives you gender euphoria if you experience it. Like, please let me know. Please comment it so I don't feel weird because like a color can give me gender euphoria. A lot of gender euphoria I feel is also from social interactions, like having this YouTube channel because I have a lot of like good interactions where people really appreciate me for who I am and that also gives me gender euphoria. So like you guys also contribute to my gender euphoria and I'm really thankful and appreciative of that. And I'm also really, really thankful to Plume for sponsoring another one of my videos and I really wouldn't be here without them and I wanna Special thanks to Anuva who just made this all possible, made it possible for me to go on tea and who helped me, you know, get sponsored with all of these videos. It's just like, yeah. They're supporting me with my transition and they can support you with yours if you ever want to go on hormones or need a letter uh, for like a top surgery or a bottom surgery or something like that. Gender affirming hormone therapy, here we go. Also, some of you tell me that you're also on tea right now and or like on estrogen and I would love you to share what your experiences are, what you really love about it in the comments if you want, I'm just saying. I'm sweating a lot because it's really really hot up here um, and it's really really messy downstairs so I'm recording upstairs and we don't have an AC here and it's like 30 degrees and it's the top floor and it's, it's a little off, it's gonna thunder soon I think. Stick around and you'll see the outfits that give me gender euphoria, here we go. Give it up for my favorite outfit this summer. Um, I got these shirts in Uniqlo thinking like, ah, uh, whatever, it's thin shorts. I don't really have a simple shirt like this, but I've been wearing them non-stop this whole time. They're super long or I am super short. They're the most comfortable shorts I've ever owned. This outfit makes me feel like 100% like myself. And then I also recently got this little camera bag. It's just an old camera bag from Pole and Shark and my my friend from Moscow has one of those and I was super jealous because I saw it in the thrift shop as well and I was like, hmm, maybe I should look at that and then she was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that and I'm like, oh, damn. I found it on eBay, so I bought it. Headache medicine, your film camera and your vaccination card and you're good to go, man. Honestly, I don't know if I'm delusional, but I think people read me more as boy in this outfit because it's so like casual and as if I've put no effort in it, but I, I did wear funny Godzilla socks. Is this a bug? No. A super chunky keychain on me at all times. If I seem out of breath, it's because I'm running up and down the stairs because it's too messy downstairs to film this and I am tired. There's no AC up here. So I'm sweating and you know what helps from sweating? Yes, another thing that gives me a lot of gender euphoria if it's done right is how I smell. Now hang on, I'm not talking about sweat. A deodorant you like, it can be a perfume. I haven't had like a good perfume in a long time. I reached out to Dossier because I saw them support other like queer creators and I was like, I don't know, I'll check it out. And basically they have a bunch of perfumes that come in this swanky little box. They are imitating more expensive perfumes that none of us really can afford, but I don't know any you know fancy perfumes, so I was just choosing based on how I want to smell. I got the Fuja Oud. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not. I'm a little stupid, but 
The notes are rosewood, tobacco, pink paper, and coriander. And I think for people like who are gender non-conforming or non-binary like myself, um, it's really nice to see like unisex perfumes. To me, it smells, even though this is not one of their like musky uh, perfumes, to me it smells like musky. A little sweet and very like woody and like a little sexy. If you're not sure because you're like ordering a perfume online and you're like, oh, should I do that? Um, you, they come with like a little two milliliter sample and you can try it here and if you don't like it you just return the box and they'll return your money so another perfume that i tried was like a musky unisex green tea surprisingly it smelled to me too much like my mom you know we assign a lot of meaning to scents and i think finding a scent that smells like you that can make you feel euphoric this look i love to layer so here are some of my options this one is thrifted from georgia um i wear it kind of like loose loosey-goosey i pretend to be like a skater in this outfit i've never skated in my entire life because i'm afraid i will fall and i've never exercised and i have no strength no physical strength in me and my body but it's super like flowy and like it makes me feel really good sort of like a skater vibe as well uh, this one's a little warmer so i definitely don't wear it as much in summer also thrifted kind of has like christmasy colors um I like i like it it's a little smaller um sometimes that's better i don't know i like i like the silhouette of like layering stuff with shorts like long sleeve versus short sleeve does this sweatshirt belong to erin's mom absolutely does it give me gender euphoria to wear it absolutely um i love it it's a hilton head sweater that Aaron stole from their mom. I think one more thing that like definitely gives me gender euphoria is proportions. So big chunky shoes like my, I had to buy another pair because mine fully died after three years of wearing them. So same pair, replica Balenciagas. I like to look like a cartoon a little bit. Like I have big feet and my shoulders are generally super narrow and my hips are kind of bigger. So I like to level it out by wearing very oversized or not very oversized but oversized clothes i am gonna burst into flames let me show you two different two other sweatshirts i would wear with this you have seen this sweatshirt in a lookbook from what four years ago i still love it i still want 10 of these i like when the t-shirt kind of shows it's very like fun um it's a good size for me like, I feel like this this was made for me. That's why it gives me gender euphoria, because it feels like this is this is who I am. Getting progressively sweatier. Damn, thank God I'm wearing that perfume, right? Because uh, otherwise... <laughs> the previous one definitely has for me like a better silhouette. Um, but this is just a Levi's. They're like normal uh, gray hoodie. There's a stain right here. I don't know what from. If I wanted to be even less perceived in this in this kind of outfit, I would probably wear a hat. Sometimes it's really good to just like disappear into a, a hood and not be seen. So this look is arguably styled around the binder. Um, binder or like having a flat chest is definitely something that brings me hella gender euphoria, like one of the main things. Like, come on, GC2B were very kind to send me two binders to try and this one is my favorite. You can just wear it like as a crop top or you can put on a light little t-shirt on top and some like biker shirts. Um, I don't own biker shirts, but Erin used to have, um, I guess, a pair of leggings that they cut. So this is what I'm wearing. And just have kind of like a sexy, sexy moment here and there, like when the wind blows your way. I also think this is a good look to like go ham on the jewelry. For me, this is to go ham i like wearing two pieces um i have my Anna Luisa necklace and i have like a four dollar ring i got off of etsy um it just has like a smiley on it and i'm wearing gold and gold and black so it seems like a good idea i'm wearing just these um, adidas sandals with some socks if it gets too hot um, I'll take the socks off. I know I'm wild this way. I got just like a bunch of these black masks because in the summer it's really hard to breathe in a non disposable mask, like a cloth mask. This binder is the best binder I've ever owned. I feel super comfortable in it. In it. I've been wearing it for 
eight hours at a time and I felt completely fine. This is the original GC2B binder in small and black. So it kind of looked like looks like this. And then they also have a race bag and I'm gonna show you. I would say the biggest difference between them is the neckline. The one I was just wearing, like the original, has it's kind of hard to show, but it has like a V and like a high neckline. Um, and then as you can see, like I'm wearing the racer back and you can see the neckline. So if that's like your priority, so people don't like see that you're wearing a binder and you wanna like open up like a button or two, then this one's better. And then you can see that the back is like a racer back. Um, hence the name. It's a very different sizing. Even though both of these binders are in a size small, the original binder feels like ideal size. And then this racer bag feels like it's extra small. Definitely 100% go one size up. Um, like, like no discussion here, like 100% go one size up. So I would have gotten an M and maybe I would have liked it much more. Um, otherwise it's okay. I just like really, really, really prefer the original binder. If you wanted to like have the same look but no binder showing at all you would probably want to go with a uh, trans tape unless you're of course comfortable just being free uh which i'm not but you could go with trans tape and i like tape your teeth down um it gives me a lot of irritation personally and it's really really hard for me to take off even with the oil that trans tape provides um so i don't do trans tape a lot and i prefer the gc2b binders but you know to each their own also if you wanted to go to the beach you could just like put on instead of like this bike shorts you could put on a pair of trunks and you'd be good to go because you can't swim in gc2b binders um or if you're not very comfortable like showing your arms um uh, or like your stomach i guess um i have these it's like a swimming t-shirt um, it's like from this material, it dries really quick and I can have my binder and this on top. I've done this before. This one's a little big on me and it's like for a 12 year old boy, I think, <laughs> or like a 14 year old boy. I feel kind of like nice and protected and it's not weird because it's a swimming t-shirt. All right, if I wanted to dress this look down, I would just take off the jewelry. I would keep the binder because it makes me feel super good about myself and I'm gonna keep wearing it forever. Don't forget to take breaks. I call this look my pizza boy, pizza delivery boy look, um, because I usually wear it with a hat. You probably saw it in my previous video, but Erin took this hat to work, I think, because I can't find it anywhere, um, but it's their hat, so fair enough. I like this kind of combination of something like bigger and smaller. Certain shoe and sock combinations make give me some gender euphoria, and I cannot explain it, but especially on testosterone, since my hair and my legs started growing real, like a lot, um, this part of me, like from the, sh like if, I were, if I'm wearing a sneaker of some sorts with a white sock or like a graphic sock, and then to here, just like gives me a lot of gender euphoria. These are fake Yeezys, I think. Um, yeah, I got them in Moscow again from the same guy I get my fake Balenciagas from. Haircuts are a major source of gender euphoria or dysphoria. Uh, whenever I get a haircut that I really, really like and that makes me feel like myself, I am like elated right now. I'm not sure what's going on with my hair, so don't mention it. I had to take a break because not only was I getting extremely hot, but also my mom called. So I'm wearing like much older Balenciaga replicas that I have and the other ones are like primary colors like blue, red and yellow and these are like yellow and green so I wear them whenever I like don't really have primary colors on me um, so I don't know if you know me well enough to know that I really like neons maybe it would be better with like a shorter shorts but uh, I'm the kind of bitch where if I find one item that I really like to wear I will wear it just notoriously all the time this is a thrifted like it was like an XL or whatever like really long neon t-shirt that I cropped with just scissors and this is like a Zara shirt that you've seen in a different video of mine. I don't have that much clothes, honestly. I'm just recycling everything I've already showed you before. Yeah, this looks well with my 
cloth face mask from Bagu. I can only really wear this when it's at least a little bit cold outside or like cool. Um, I like this mask a lot. It's, it's really close to my face. Another thing that gives me gender euphoria is definitely the correct use of pronouns. I know this one is pretty self-explanatory whenever I'm referred to correctly, they, them. I feel really great but i also get a little bit of gender euphoria kind of on behalf of other people when other people are referred to correctly i do i do them very rarely but i also accidentally misgender sometimes um so it's very important to me that other people like correct at work i have um two or three more people who use they them pronouns and i correct when an, an, a different colleague like misgenders them and so it's really nice when they are referred to correctly because we are in this together i also feel gender euphoria whenever someone refers to me as like a gender new with a like a gender neutral term like kid um, bestie i really like when people say bestie or friend um they're very like have positive energy but they're also like gender neutral um there was this tiktok where someone was like you got it, boss. And I was like, that sounds great because it kind of balances out some of my dysphoria of being misgendered. I don't mind a more masculine, sort of more neutral masculine approach. So like my guy, yeah, man, like I, I feel great when people refer to me like that. It's not for everyone, but it is for me. I was going to change in a different outfit, but actually this kind of, this kind of happened. Um, another thing that gives me gender euphoria i almost always want to say dysphoria just because we talk about dysphoria so much more is um tattoos so whenever i'm wearing an outfit and you can see my tattoos and this is why i like want more of them is um the time that i feel really like myself and surprisingly like for me right now it's my nose piercing um i feel really great about it what makes it gender euphoria and not just like hey i like it i don't know Whatever, whatever you think is gender euphoria, it is. I don't care. I'm not gonna get keep it for you. Live your life, you know. But I really like these jeans. Erin found them in a thrift shop. Um, I've never had a pair of jeans fit me so well before. How they did it, the 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 changing rooms were closed at the time, so how they did it is beyond me. I actually saw this outfit on myself from the side because Erin took a picture of me that I really like. Um, and I used to have a bus cut, so I guess it works better with a bus cut, but let's try it still. I have a different relationship with hats and glasses depending on what kind of haircut I have and what shape my hat is. Right now, I'm not happy with my hair, which is why I keep messing with it, but also it creates this kind of like egg shape, like it's too oval and too much. I guess with this look I'm gonna wear thrifted jeans, Balenciaga's. This is a t-shirt from... I'll put the name over here because I forgot. And then this is another thrifted jacket. Two things that I'm really into, clothes-wise. Oh, three things. Because I'm not really... Oh, four things. I'm not really into clothes that much. But things I always want to keep buying are hats i really want a sun hat right now but i don't know where to find the one i like so baseball caps hats jackets shoes like sneakers little bags i just really like little bags but this is the outfit i hope it's not too dark now you remember this jacket right it was the it was a discussion between me and aaron the conflict of whether i should keep the shoulder pads or get rid of them do i look ridiculous tell me in the comments people who support aaron say Yeet. This kind of length of a jacket hides my hip, which helps me uh, feel more like euphoric rather than dysphoric about my hips. I feel like this is, yeah, this is like a great proportion for me. I really like it. I want to call this outfit my London outfit. I feel like I would, I would walk like this in London all the time. And so I put my little pin that says mind the gap on this jacket. Yeah, it's, it's a sweet little outfit. I really, I feel really good in it. I guess a couple more things that give me gender euphoria. Um, like sometimes it's a color I like at the given moment. Right now it's green. Um, Y'all know I like to wear green nails. 
Um, I don't have them right now because I forgot. But I also have this green bag. I like to carry it with me. I like how it looks. I like the color. It's weird, just like, it, and how I can explain it, why it's not just my favorite color right now, but why it gives me gender euphoria, is that um, it feels like it's my color. Like that color represents me, my identity, me being non-binary, me being gender non-conforming, all of it. I also get uh, gender euphoria from a sense of belonging. Um, if that makes sense, it can mean representation, like being represented in the media or in like a TV show or whatever but also when I started working again I used to work for myself and so I didn't really have the restrictions of like working for someone else and following any kind of rules my place of work has a unisex or like gender non-specified for uniform I feel great um, when they have genderless toilets like it's it's really simple but it makes me feel like I have a place to be I belong here, I'm welcome here, and in return it makes me feel great, it makes me feel pretty euphoric. This is it and this is all. If you have any questions as per usual, hit me up in the comments, otherwise have a wonderful rest of your summer. I can't talk anymore, I can't do anything anymore, I am melting into my chair and I will see you in the next video.